uh, what do you say? Should we get this? Uh, let, let's get going here. Uh, okay, next slide. Here we go. Just like I said, please participate. Chat box, you did the polls. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you. And so just a quick background on us. So the picture on the right is Jason Maluchlu. He founded Palau Dive Adventures. He's a local Palauan. He worked for um, some other companies in Palau, also worked on a liveaboard boat in Palau. And basically what he built was a uh, just a, a smaller dive operation that runs, we run from land-based and we just take one group of people and Monday through Friday with 10 people max. And we're just able to um, offer, you know, very high level of service, have a great time. And you can, you know, if you want to read more about us, kind of jump through some of the reviews on us um, and you'll hear that there. Okay, today's panel should be uh, mostly me. Rucker will be jumping in here and uh, helping out a little bit, maybe on the chat. If uh, if you, those of you who have been to Palau, if you see something uh, pop up in the chat, feel free to answer the question for the person. Uh, if you can't answer it, I will do my best to get to it. Uh, Rucker's from uh, Amsterdam and from time to time, I'll go visit him and uh, we get a little bit of work done. Not, not a lot of it's uh, work and, and uh, a couple of beverages too. So real quickly, for those of you who may not know, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on where Palau is, but as you can see, it is between Guam and the Philippines there. There's basically today five hubs that will get you into Palau and they're all in yellow there. So Guam, Yap, uh, Seoul, Taipei, and Manila. We used to have Tokyo, we lost that as a hub and uh, Hong Kong as well. You can still do Yap Palau is a great combo trip um, as a two week trip. And also Philippines Palau is a really good two week combo trip. All righty, let's... Uh, Let's keep going here. So meat and potatoes. All right. So these are, we're just going to kind of discuss and give you an overview of some of the top sites in Palau. I'm not going to give you a full dive briefing on, on each one, but I will give you kind of a, a general overview of what to expect at each site. And you'll have a pretty good understanding when you go of what's going to take place. Of course, the guides, when you go there, are going to give you a pretty in-depth briefing. But uh, let's just go over, we'll go over, you know, Blue Corner. I'm sure everybody's heard of that. Oolong Channel, my favorite dive in Palau. German Channel, new drop-off. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about Pelelu, Pelelu Wall, and then uh, Chandelier Cave and, and Helmet Wreck. Okay. Just some overview of Palau and the, and the diving. So a lot of times we get the question, when's the best time to go dive? So Palau has two seasons. There's a rainy season, a rainy season and a wet season. The drier season um, is between uh, November and June. So we have a little bit less rain and it, it, it makes the boat rides easier. The rain doesn't affect the visibility in the water. As you can see, the visibility here is, there's some sites it's unlimited. The average visibility is gonna be a hundred feet. In the channels, um, you know, if we have plankton coming in or, or things like that, then it can drop down to 50 feet, but the vis is usually really amazing in Palau. Average water temperature is between 84 degrees and 86 degrees. So as you can see, a lot of our guests here 
are wearing um, spring suits, but that it's just up to you. If you get cold in 84 degree water, you know, wear a, uh, a full suit. The, the typical dive day is we pick you up either uh, at the dock in front of your hotel or with our van at 7.45 or eight o'clock in the morning. And we do um, two to three dives every day and we'll return back at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The days we only do two dives, we'll go to Jellyfish Lake and we'll go to Peleliu. So those are like th those are like the third activity. So we basically do three activities every day. Uh, any other questions as far as like the diving, um, the water temp, anything like that? People ask a lot about the currents in Palau, and sometimes they're worried about the the strength of the currents. And we don't go to a site that is unsafe. So we also put three dive masters in the water for uh, groups of eight to uh, 10 people. So that helps out as well. So if we ever have somebody who runs low on air, it doesn't mean the whole group has to go up. It just means one of our dive masters will, will go with that person and go up and we still have, um, we still have enough dive masters um, below. Uh, okay, next one. Anita, I'll, ask, I'll answer that question a little bit later. So what's going to be pretty cool, today's format is show you a couple videos of the dive sites under underwater. And what's you're really, I think you're really going to like a lot is we worked with an Austrian company and we actually map the dive sites of Palau in 3D. So I'm going, we're going to go full live and I'm going to pull up their uh, app that we have. And we're going to actually see some of the sites um, and I'll be able to manipulate them and, and show them to you a little bit. And of course, uh, unfortunately, you got to uh, listen to me uh, talking there. So let's uh let me take a quick little uh break from chatting and we'll watch a little video here and then we'll uh we'll kind of take it from there All righty, so that is my favorite dive site in Palau, Oolong Channel. Okay, so let's do, let's do this. I'm going to jump out of my PowerPoint here and I'm gonna go over to our app. Sorry, it played again here. Hit pause on that. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Loading up. Okay, I'm going to get my chat window open here again. And see if you guys have a question that's coming in. Uh, okay, maybe I lost that ability to chat with you guys. Uh, I can't see it on, on my screen, but I'm going to make a quick assumption that everybody can still hear me 
and they're seeing the same uh, screen there. So this is basically uh, the barrier reef where my arrow is on the left side of your screen. That's the barrier reef that protects uh, Palau. So if we, Karor is in the kind of in the center here. That's where our dive shop is. That's where the harbor is. And basically every morning we'll take a really amazing boat ride through all of these rock islands and to the main dive sites. So the main sites are going to be in this area that's called Nemelis. And uh, you can see where all the little dots are. Those are the dive sites over here. Um, this is going to be German Channel, and that's what the uh, the Germans created an opening in that a channel so that they could get to Karor more quickly uh, to deliver um, goods that they were mining in uh, Angar. So, as you can see, Peleliu is a little bit further south, a little bit further distance. Alrighty, so that again, so. In Palau, when we're diving, most of the diving is on this, this barrier reef. So let's, uh, let's take a look at Oolong Channel. Again, my favorite dive site. Okay, so what we have here, I'm gonna just spin this around a little bit. Uh, Give me a sec there. All righty. I'll tweak it again for you guys. All right. So let me see which viewpoint is going to look. This one's going to work a little bit better for us. What we have here is and we can kind of plan it a little bit. But what's gonna happen on Oolong Channel is we're gonna start up here on the, uh, the corals, and we're just gonna take it nice and easy with the guides, they're gonna tell you, just follow it. And then right around up in this area right here, we're gonna hook in, okay, with the reef hooks. That's where you saw the the divers hooking in and then the shark swimming right by it depending on how strong the current is then what we're going to do is the um sorry we get those notifications pop up i apologize on that should have turned it off so the the guides will then say depending on the current they know how what the total distance is to go back here and we're gonna end up at, at the back of the channel. But this drift back here through the channel is really awesome. That is gonna take about, about 30 minutes. So mo all of our dives, we're gonna aim for you know 50 to 55 minute dives on that. And if we'd like to take a look at what the depths are, what we can do is we'll go to this viewpoint here and you can see that the hook in site is right around, you know, somewhere between 30 and 60 feet. And the channel's pretty shallow throughout the whole thing, uh, 30 to 40 feet through the, the whole channel there. Okay, let's, uh, that's Oolong. Let's do, let's do Blue Corner. So that's always a big one. Everybody's wants to go to Palau for Blue Corner, and rightfully so. And let me just zoom out of this a little bit. It's like the a little bit sensitive here, but take a look here. There we go. I'm gonna spin it this way. All right, let's do this. Okay, that's like head on the blue corner right there. So what makes blue corner 
um, such an awesome sight is you basically it's an elbow that's sticking out into really deep water and it can be we can dive it uh, lots of different ways so what we can do is we can start on this side and what we do is kind of back here this is blue holes back there so we could drop through blue holes and then enter or exit the blue holes and then go drop down to about 60 70 feet and basically what we do is we cruise along the side of the wall here and then the guides will give the signal to like pull out the reef hooks and then we'll come up to this area here and then deploy the reef hooks and then you're basically like a kite in, in the wind where you get to look at all the sharks coming by and just kind of an, in, enjoy the show. So that this whole area would be like the hooking area. And the top of this, again, we can look at what the depth is there. The depth should be uh, right around uh, 60 feet on the top. <laughs> and you can see, yeah, this is that top area there. That's where we stay. blue corner. All righty. Let's take a look at, let's go to like one of our typical dive. So Palau, the diving is basically wall diving, drift diving. That's, that's, that's how it is. And we will dive and you go down to like 60, 70 feet, cruise along the wall and uh, you know, kind of take a look out for everything. Let me pull up uh, Pelilu here. Okay, Pelilu, Pelilu wall here. Let's see here. Let me zoom out. Nothing like super exciting, right? It's just exactly what it says it is, a wall. But a lot of the dives, the, the guides will say, okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, and it's pretty simple. It's uh, keep the wall on your left, and we're going to cruise along this wall, and you get to check out stuff. And don't forget to take a look out here into the right. That's the deep area. That's where all the sharks are gonna be, things like this. And along the wall, you just get to, you know, check out all the um, amazing life that's on, on the wall there. Okay, pretty straightforward there, uh, but I have saved the best for last. Let's do a rec dive. One rec dive I really like is helmet rec. Uh, and I wasn't a big fan of Rex before I, I did this dive, but Helmet Rex is pretty awesome. It's pretty shallow and there's a lot of cool stuff on it. So, and this is why the 3D mapping is just so cool with like Helmet Rex. So here we go. Uh, let's take a little look at Helmet Rex here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing around. We're gonna look at the stern of the boat. So I'm gonna swing it around a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can, of course I've practiced this a hundred times, but when I actually got to do it live, it becomes a little tricky. Status quo, right? And coming in. Uh, Works. I guess I should do this on an iPad one day, huh? Zoom too close. Let me exit it and come back in. Let me try it again. Got to reset it. Okay. Let me spin it this way. Let's see if I can get away. So. Inside the belly of the vessel here is, those are the depth charges uh, that they were using against the submarines. 
here we go. I think I can get in this way. Pretty cool, huh? And we'll spin her around this way. I can't really get inside the vessel per se on this on this view, um, but you know we get we get some pretty good detail in here. Let's take a look at the depth on it. And again, you can see where it we're going to start in the back, and that's where it's pretty. We would start basically back here, come down on a line, a top deck. 40, 50 feet. And then if we want to come back over in this area, 80 feet, you can kind of hover around, take a look. It, you can penetrate the wreck, but you know, that just do, if you're going to do that, that has to be with one of our guides. I've actually gone through it, but it, but there's a lot to really see on the, on the top part too. But, and then we would just come back around here and then check out a few things in this area. That's the general plan. It's about a 45 minute dive. And let's keep looking at this wreck just a little bit more. I wanna zoom in, show you guys something else before, I, before we leave. Okay, there we go. And you can see the detail. Let's see if I can twist this just a tad. That's probably as good as I'm going to be able to get it right now. But here's the 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 big gun that's on there. There is a. Let's see, will this work? Oh yeah, here's here's the gun. Over here, are some sake bottles and munitions, all up in here. So. Pretty cool sight there. Helmet wreck. All righty, let's go to. And you can see there's a bunch of other wrecks in Palau. Um, it's basically the same thing I just showed you. There are a couple uh, airplanes there as well. Um, and we got some other maps on uh, Pelilu. Let's do, let's do this. I'm gonna jump out of this. I'm gonna go back to um, the PowerPoint and I'm gonna answer a few questions that may have popped up. I can see some there. And we do provide the reef hooks. So that's uh, good news, right? No charge for those. Okay, let me take a quick, uh, all right, let's jump in here to Jellyfish Lake. So great news, the, the lake is now open with around about a million jellyfish in there. So at the peak population was around eight to 9 million. Um, obviously the lake hasn't fully recovered, but it, it's definitely on its way back to um, being really healthy. So we are including that back in our um, five day dive package. It was always part of it before, but when the lake was closed, um, we substituted a dive in there. So, uh, you know, we're happy to take our guests back there again. Okay. Any other questions on uh, Jellyfish uh, Lake? Looks pretty good. I think I got that answered. Perfect. Okay. I'm going, we're going to slowly kind of wind this down, let you get on with the rest of your day. I'll hang out here for some more questions. And just remember kind of Jason's motto, uh, you know, we hope that all of you come and visit, uh, you come as guests and you leave as family. I know um, we've had a lot of guests that have come back year after year and the airport goodbyes get harder and harder each time. But uh, 
just want to say thank you uh, so much for coming. And I'm going to hang out here for a little bit and just answer questions, whatever you have. Uh, we hope to see you in Palau. It really is a, an amazing place. Uh, and every I've even taken my parents there. They're not divers. They love to snorkel. They're 77, 78 years old. Uh, they have such a great time there. So I'm going to just hang out here and I'm going to go through the questions and go through those. So I believe going back a little bit, somebody was asking about uh, why we don't do um, some of the full moon expeditions. And that's just for us, it's not what our guests, most of them want. So to catch those expeditions, usually have to leave at 4.30 in the morning and you're diving in very strong, heavy current. So that's why we don't do that. Uh, if we don't dive on weekends, what else is there to do? There's kayaking, super amazing. The, uh, you can do a land tour and some weekends we do. Just send us an inquiry and uh, you know let Grace, she schedules our boat. Her email address is down below here, reservations at Palau Dive adventures.com and uh, she'll let you know if we got a boat running on the weekends. Do we educate people? Yes, we are a paddy uh, dive resort and we can, we're looking at having, getting people up to dive master. We wanna have a dive master course this summer, which would be, we're gonna put together a really robust course and diving every day for a month. So that'll be pretty awesome. Is August a good time or we won't see the best of marine life? No, you'll see a lot in August. August is great. Uh, you just might be wearing the rain jacket that we provide you a little bit more, that's all. Uh, on another webinar, I purchased a helicopter tour that was last year. I um uh, not familiar with that send me uh send an inquiry to reservations at plowdiveadventures.com i'm not if you, if it was purchased with us um then yeah then it's no problem then it's still valid there was no expiration date i think it was a plane tour not a helicopter awesome did i answer everybody's questions Clay, I know you're here. You're going to come visit us soon. So did I uh, answer your questions? You get a good overview of uh, diving in uh, Palau. You guys like the webinar? Thumbs up. It's all good. Did I talk too much? <laughs> Let's see, Nicholas, you got a question? Great info, all right. Oh, how do reef hooks work? Yeah, that's a good question. So there's a, oh God, I wish I had one, but basically there's a stainless steel hook and then there's uh, some rope attached to it and there's a handle on the other end of it. And our guides will help you find the dead coral and you just, put it into a, a dead coral and you can hold yourself there. That way you're not bouncing around the live coral and damaging it. Yep. Somebody else asked Jellyfish Lake on the depth. We just go snorkel there. So we're staying at the surface. The depth, I'm not 100% sure on the depth, but you don't want to go and uh, dive it. There is a uh, layers that are toxic in that lake. So it's just a snorkel only. Uh, yes, if some of your party wants to snorkel only, can we stay together as a family? Absolutely. We'll put a snorkel guide in the water with you. Yep. Saltwater crocodile is dangerous when swimming with kids in the sea. Uh, yeah, I would be worried about them too, but we're not going to go. We don't see the saltwater crocodiles on the dive sites. They're more in the, the rivers, the brackish water. Uh, if my camera dies at some point, is there a place on the island to replace it? Uh, not really. I'm going to just say 
No, it's limited, limited spare parts and things like that. Yep, Bruce, you're welcome. Nicholas, I need a place to get at least my dive master, but if I get it right, I'll have to wait until June or so to come. I'm not sure on that one. We're gonna we're gonna do a dive master in July, August. Yeah. There are a lot of yeah, there are a lot of turtles in, in Palau, yes. Yeah, yeah, more sharks, I would say, are going to be in uh, March or April when the sharks are mating. So that's, that's a good time to see more sharks. Yeah, you can change your, uh, your dive week, Anita, no problem. Just let us know. Randy, we, we do have some uh, spare parts, but there's so many different like regulators and everything else. It's always best to bring your own spare parts. What we like to do if like you have an issue on your regulator, uh, just give you one of our uh, rental atomic regulators. Seems to work real well. We carry really uh, top of the line uh, gear in our rental department. That's what I get to go dive on. So I'm leaving tomorrow for Palau. So I get to dive our rental gear. It's all, all in great shape. People rave about it a lot. Awesome. I'm gonna hang out for about another minute or so. If you guys wanna take off, no problem. If you have a question, I'm here in Los Angeles. Give me a ring at the number 310-321-2558 can send me a text message there as well uh, whatever whatever works for you yep thanks you guys thanks andrew i'll try to have a good trip it's a long journey it's always worth it there's there's just no easy way about it for palau so it is what it is right patty yeah see you in february awesome february is a great time to go How do I work your flight sleeping anti jet lag? That's a good question. Just deal with it. I don't know. <laughs> I going over to Plow never really have a problem. So I maybe catch a little bit of sleep on a on a flight. I I do some work, um, watch some movies. The way back, I when I land in LA at five o'clock in the morning, that, that day coming back hurts. That's, I'm not going to lie. It takes my body about a week to adjust, but going over to Palau, I'm not, it works out real well. I wake up around five or six naturally. So it, that seems to be uh, the case when traveling West. So right on. All righty. Well, I think that's, uh, if you have any other questions, give me a phone call. Have a great uh, December. Have a great holidays coming up. Spend some time with families. And uh, thanks everybody for coming in today. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye.